does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again for another episode of Skip the Rules, and today we're skipping the rules for Christmas Rush, the card game. This is for three to eight players, ages seven plus. And the first thing you're going to want to do is take all the cards and shuffle them up. Don't worry that some are double-sided. Shuffle them up just like they are normal cards. Next, you're going to want to make sure that everyone gets four cards. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a four-player game. While someone's doing that, you can also remove the tokens that you won't need. So you're going to need as many tokens as there are players minus one. So in a four-player game, I would have four minus one, which means I will need three tokens for this game. And you're going to set those kind of in the middle so everyone will be able to reach them. Whoever shuffled can be the first dealer, and now you're ready to start the game. So how do you win? Well, it's quite simple. You need to get four of a kind of numbers in your hand. If you can get that four of a kind, then you yell Christmas Rush as you grab your first token. This means that you won't be eliminated from the game this round. Once the first token is taken, this now means that everyone can try and grab the other two remaining tokens. But since there's going to be one more player than there is tokens, one person will be eliminated every single round. These players do not need to hit four of a kind as long as someone else has already grabbed a token. The player that doesn't get a token is going to be eliminated from the game, and one token will then be removed from the game. You'll take all the cards, shuffle them back up, and the player to the left will be the new dealer, and you will do it until there is only one player remaining. That's how you win, though, but let's talk about how you're going to get four of a kind. So whoever is the dealer is going to be able to draw one card at a time and either put it into their hand or place it face down to their left. This pile on their left will be the cards that this player is allowed to draw. So I drew this card, the two, which doesn't help me at all, but you can have five cards in your hand. You may never have more. So what I could do is I could draw this next card and then either decide, do I want to pass it to the player on my left or do I want to keep it for myself? So I'll just pass it to the player on my left. And now the other thing that you're trying to do is do this quickly. This is a very fast-paced, frantic game. And now I'm kind of kicking myself because I just passed two eights. And potentially this player has picked up those two eights. All the other players will be doing the same thing, creating their own pile as well. On the off chance the dealer ever runs out of cards, the dealer will then look to the right where the discard pile for this player right here should be and will start drawing from this pile. But now let's talk about these double-sided cards right here. You'll notice the symbol in the upper left-hand corner. And in this game, you're going to see two symbols. The first symbol, the megaphone, means that when you discard this card and place it over here to your left, you have to say, cheers! Or you have to say, Merry Christmas! Or, bah humbug! The megaphone ones are pretty simple. However, there is one musical note card in the game, and when you discard this card, you have to name a Christmas song loudly or sing a line from a Christmas song, any Christmas song, deck the halls with boughs of holly. And if a player ever doesn't do that or forgets to do that, then they are immediately eliminated for the game. You shuffle up and you start a new round after taking away a token. Likewise, if anyone ever cheats and grabs a token before they're actually supposed to, either on purpose or by accident, they are once again eliminated from the game as well. If you'd like to make the game a little bit longer, then what you can do is you can have a three strikes rule, where every time you lose a round, you actually just lose a strike, and you can use anything to keep track of those. After losing all three of your strikes, then you're finally eliminated from the game. Last, the designers of the game realize that this is a very similar game to Spoons, and if you have any house rules for Spoons, feel free to implement them into Christmas Rush, and let me know in the comments below what Spoon rules you use. If you found this helpful, please consider liking the video and letting me know where you're from. I find that sort of thing fascinating. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.